The girdle and spray method of killing trees is a great technique to use for habitat improvement for deer. Anytime you're dealing with a tree you want to remove, whether it's an invasive species like this china berry tree that I'm about to kill, uh, whether it's just a very large tree that you want to remove for forest stand improvement and it's too big to safely cut down with a chainsaw and you'd rather just quickly kill it, girdle and spray works really well. And the first step is safety. Anytime you're using a chainsaw, I'm gonna be safe about it. Wear your helmet, wear your safety helmet with your visor and your hearing protection, a hard hat to protect your head should anything fall. And I've got on my safety chaps already, you can see that, those chaps, protect you should the saw kick back and contact your leg. That chap is designed to automatically bind with the chain on your saw and stop it immediately in its tracks. Now I'm using a rechargeable chainsaw today, but uh, it doesn't matter. Gas powered, battery powered, any kind of saw can quickly give you stitches. So wear your chainsaw chaps, wear gloves, wear your safety helmet always before you start your saw or use a chainsaw in the woods. So girdle and spray or girdle and squirt is a technique, again, as I said, for injecting herbicide inside of a tree. Uh, you've heard of hack and squirt, which uses a machete or a hatchet to make a small cut in the trunk of a tree and inject herbicide. It's the same concept, uh, but I prefer girdle and spray or girdle and squirt with a chainsaw because when I'm working on forest stand improvement in the woods, I may do one of several things depending on what the tree is and where it is. Uh, for example, you might want to hinge cut smaller trees to create instant cover where you're working. You might want to take smaller trees that produce good forage and cut them off at the stump. Don't kill them with herbicide and let them grow stump sprouts back to produce deer forage, also called mineral stumps. That's high quality forage. Uh, so, or you may want to girdle and spray like this. Well, if you're carrying a hatchet or a machete, you can't do those other things. When you're carrying a chainsaw, it gives you a lot of different options for what you can do with an individual tree. Girdling is simply cutting a very shallow cut completely around the tree, just through the cambium layer and making a complete ring. That's it. You're not trying to cut deeply. It's a very quick and easy method. But again, safety is key here. One thing you don't wanna do is stumble and fall while you're running a chainsaw. So before you do your girdle around your tree, check the tree and remove any obstructions that might uh, impede you, that you might trip on, get tangled in, vines, sticks, other things at the base of the tree. Just glance and make sure you can walk a complete circle around the trunk of the tree without getting tangled up and falling. All right, I've removed some obstructions and I'm ready to cut. What you're gonna do is approach the tree. You're going to put the top of the saw bar, this part right here against the tree. That way you don't cut with the bottom, cut with the top. And what happens then is, the saw is cutting away from you. So the saw will be spraying wood chips away from you instead of back on you or in your face. But also with the saw running away from you, it pulls the saw into the tree instead of pushing it back toward you. So it just goes with you and cuts quickly and easily. You don't have to push hard. Remember, this is a shallow cut. You're not cutting deep. You're not trying to cut the tree down. We just want a quarter inch or less penetration into the cambium layer of the tree. So you don't even have to push with this method. Let the saw do the cutting and just simply walk around until you have a complete ring. I got my safety gear on now and I'm gonna go ahead and girdle this tree. Okay, so you see how quick and easy that went. Just a few seconds to make this effective cut or girdle all the way around the tree and connect it up to make a complete ring. Now, the next step is to inject the herbicide with a spray bottle into the cut. You wanna do that fairly soon after you make the cut before this wound dries. You don't wanna wait hours or days. So as soon as you make this cut, go ahead and squirt the herbicide. Okay, that's it. That tree's dead. Notice that I used a nitrile glove on my hand to protect myself from the herbicide. Always be careful and read the precautions and labels of every herbicide you're using. I was paying attention to the wind. There's very little wind right now to make sure I wasn't going to get mist back in my face. Now, this goes faster if you have a partner. If one of you is running the chainsaw to do the girdling and the other person is running the herbicide, this can go very fast. As you can see, if I'd done this without filming a video, just a few seconds, 
to kill this invasive chinaberry tree. It's dead, it's not gonna die immediately. It may take uh, a year or less for this tree to actually be dead, but this tree is definitely going to die. Now, we went into the herbicides that are in this bottle. This is the Craig Harper cocktail, and we talk about that in another video on our YouTube channel. So check that out to find out about the herbicides that are in this bottle. They are totally safe for other trees around here. This amount of herbicide that I just injected into this tree is only going to kill this tree. It's not going to be active on any other trees around it. So this is a very safe method for introducing daylight. Not only is this an invasive species that I'm killing and controlling, but now where it's standing, it's going to die. There's gonna be sunlight here. There will be new growth forage and cover for deer. And when you do this over time throughout a forest, removing low value or invasive trees like this one to introduce sunlight back into the forest, you're really improving conditions for deer. So there you have it. That's how to do a safe and quick girdle and spray on a tree for forest stand improvement. We're a nonprofit organization. The National Deer Association is. If you like this information, if this was useful to you, you'd like to hear more, please support us. Hit that thank you button there in the bottom of your screen. Thank you.